What's going on guys? Matt Rainbow here with another reaction video. And I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, next two episodes of the Million Advanced uh, Native series. Uh, these are going to be episodes negative three and negative four. Uh, the first two of this series was pretty funny and the art style is very intriguing. So I'm looking forward to this. So go ahead and get started with negative three in three, two, one, start. Oh man, Gilda, it has been so oh, God, long Gilda. since we hung out. And two weeks is a while to be in Ponyville. Tail chaser. Everyone is boring except for like eight or ten ponies. And I have a job, but oh, I that spend pizza. most of it napping and it gets canceled when it rains. Or that is, you know, I just go home. I mean, as soon as it rains, the job is done. Hey, what are you doing? Helping you unpack. Dash, leave my suitcase alone. It will be easy enough to unpack on my own. I'll say. All you got in here is a toothbrush and... Oh, well, you see oh God. Pajamas? Ah, yes. Certainly in apparel for the ball. Pleasant. <laughs> it's a little something I picked up in the Griffin country for the trip here. Do you like it? They look like a pirate eye patch. Oh, yes, of course. It's, uh, yeah. Why I bought it? For the absurdity value. We all have plenty of laughs. Cool. So, anyway, I guess I'll just go ahead and sleep on the couch while you're here. You're the guest, so you can have my bed. Oh, that's great, Dash. But hey, you remember old times. You don't have to sleep on the couch. We're friends. The best of friends. We could both take the bed. No. Um. I mean, oh, if you want to share the bed, I guess I don't care. It would be quite comfortable. No, it's fine. Keep warm on these cold, boring nights. Then again, it is fine. We can decide later. Well, see, I've developed a really bad habit of kicking while I sleep, so I can just prepare the couch. It's, it's a cloud futon. I guess we'll just have to tire you out so you don't have the energy for kicking. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, man. I haven't done a good race in, like, forever. Ponyville is a slow city. Everybody is slow. Do you want to go for a race? I would enjoy that immensely, but you know, I am quite tired from my trip. Aww. You're trying to hit on an idiot, man. What the hell, Gilda? But, uh, how about, instead of a race, we do something else relaxing, but still quite engaging. You want to watch the Wonderbolts on TV? Ah, maybe some other time. Ugh, well, that's good, because I haven't paid my cable bill, and... Also, they won't run cable to my cloud house. Wait, wow. how did you get built? They won't even run a cable to your house. It's a small town, so you pretty much get screwed on cable. Oh, um, also things that I do not have. Plumbing is a big one. If you need to go to the bathroom, you can shower, but there's no water treatment line connected, so you've got to go to an outhouse below. Just let me know when you're ready, and I'll show you where it is. Then, this may not be a big deal, because it's pretty warm this time of month, but the cloud walls are not really good for insulation. I couldn't afford the magic insulation, so if you get cold and need extra blankets, I've got some. And of course, there's a big thunderstorm scheduled for Thursday. My house isn't waterproof. I, I couldn't afford the magic proof for that either. So, we'll have to move the whole house out of town for a few hours. Dash, this is all stuff you neglected to mention when you said I could stay with you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess I got excited. Maybe I could stay at a hotel for a while. No, no, it's okay. I can do all the pushing. You could just watch. I am sure a better breakfast could not cost too much of Oh, come on, you don't want to stay with me? I don't know. Please. Dash, when I was doing this, you know what that means, right? You want to do cigarettes? You shouldn't smoke, <laughs> that's not good for you. Oh, unless, unless you're being cool. I mean, i done that once, but, uh, it, like, I was too cool to do it twice. Beals, yeah. are you just trying to help me save face here, Dash? What do you mean? No, I, I did, I did cigarettes. I'm just wondering if I made a fool of myself. Yeah. And apparently the jury is still out on that. Are you mad because you're going to have to help me move my house? I thought you said I didn't have to do that. You don't. But you're going to be really upset if I don't. You don't have to. Fine, Dash. Fine. It's fine. Aw. Thank you, Gilda. I promise I'll make it up to you. Actually, I'll tell you what. Here's how you can make it up to me. How about the massage? A massage? Sure. And, my patience willing, we can work our way up from there. I massage you? Yes. I mean, I could massage you. But the way things are going, I do not see that becoming a reward for me this time around. No. Okay, gotcha. Ready? Go ahead. Oh, God. Dash, stop. What's the matter? Your hooves look as soft as marshmallows, but they feel like bricks. What kind of massage are you planning here, anyway? Sorry, I, 
right? I just thought that since you were a big tough griffin that I was gonna have to give you a big tough massage, you know, extra hard. Gently, Dash. Like a cat needing a mama bear. Okay, I got it figured out now. Rainbow Dash, I have come for your head. Yes. Oh, God. Surrender immediately and I will slay you without quarrel. Who is that? Oh, that's my good friend Pinkie Pie. She really likes to be around other ponies. You cannot hide from Pinkie. She knows your birthday, social security number, and place of residence. What the fuck? I gave her all that information because she's really good at birthday parties. Also uh -huh. a bit for medical records. But we should probably just leave her alone until she gets bored. Last time she got like this and I went out to meet her, she threw a rock. Uh, I am not putting up this. It will be a moment, Dad. <laughs> a few hours later. You know, I remembered you being pretty cool, Gilda. But it turns out you're just a great big fat butt that poor innocent never did anything wrong, Pinkie Pie. Yes. You are a dick. And we are content to do without dicks. <laughs> you are all imbeciles anyway. And at this moment, I will be washing my claws on all of you. Hello, Rhonda. It's Gilda. No, things did not go good. I'm headed home early. I know. I know. I know what you said. But really, I remember her being twice as smart and three times. Well, you were right. And consolations? How about this? Yes. I'm treating you. Okay, I'll pick you up tomorrow. <laughs> that was quick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that was a strange episode. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the cable on my headphones does not want to. Cooperate with me. There we go. Now I can't even hear anything. There he goes. Ah, uh, yeah. I think it's definitely time to replace these headphones. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, that was... <laughs> that was a strange episode. Um, that one was kind of bland, to be honest. Compared to the last two, um, I don't know. That one just didn't really do anything for me. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this next one will be a bit better. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump into negative four in three, two, one, start. So what are we all gathered around for? Trick she's shoe. Spontaneously? I don't know. I don't really recall how I got here, but I'm in the front of the crowd and that makes me happy. This seems to happen a lot with social situations. I think uh -huh. we're all waiting on the Trixie shield. Either that or a fireworks sale. Two for one, although it's a bit early for hearts warming. Do we have to be here? I want to go home. Why? The only thing waiting at home for you is chores. I found a bit laying on the crown. I'm gonna put it in my bed and I'm gonna sleep on it. Spike, give me that. I don't know where it's been. It's dirty. But it's my wow. found it. It's dirty. Welcome, every pony to the great, the powerful Trixie Shoe Show. Oh shoot, did I write that? Yes. I am the great and powerful Trixie. My name is spelled with an X, actually. I think when I made that banner, I was a little drunk. I was gonna change my name for marketing, but never mind. Behold! Hey, your show sucks so far. Who said that? How dare you? I'll have you know that an honest critique killed my family. She wow. Didn't think your show sucks. Twilight, it does suck. And so does her outfit, by the way. Oh, oh, she said it too. This whole town, you guys are all stupid, head up your butt idiots, and I hope you all die. Oh, no, no. Guys, stop heckling. For once in our damn lives, just let an avoidable conflict pass us by like a drunk weekend. 
I had a drunk weekend. You suck. It means they think you're great. What do you think I am, an idiot? Yes. As big of an idiot as everybody in this crowd, and everyone is an idiot, and if you say differently, then you're a bigger idiot, and I'm going to tell everyone else in the town over that you guys are all idiots. No. Okay. I mean, look, if you did that, I mean, clearly, you're the victim here, and you'd be in the right, but you know how, like, a long time ago, bad used to mean cool? It's kind of like that. It's one of these insipid generational slang things. Well, that's right. You guys are in the wrong, because you're like a whole crowd and you're just ganging up on one person. That's not fair. That's like mob mentality. But I, I didn't know about the suck thing, so I'm really sorry for my outburst. I, I, I guess I'm getting old if I don't know about the slang today. Yeah, it happens Definitely. to the best of us. So now that we're all friends and we agree that you're great, can you get on and do your little show, darling? My show? Um, well... There's not actually a show yet. Then why did you get so upset when we said it sucked? Because I thought you were crushing my dreams before they began. Wow. So you don't waste all your time and wind up disappointed. It's tough love. Except we don't actually care about you, so <laughs> it's just love. No, here really? It's a great plan. I'm going to do Peter Pan on ice, but I'm going to crowdsource everything. Did you seriously gather together a bunch of cheap plywood so you could build the stage and tell us this? Did you not realize that you could get drunk at the local bar and do the same thing for less time and energy? I've also yes. got this story about how I wrestled the space bear. Same criticism applies. Just drink a lot and tell the stallions your little story, and eventually, one of them will take you home. Instant gratification with half the work. That's Rarely. Shallow. The objective is to spend money to make money, and then get the guys, okay? I'm business-oriented. If I spend money and skip straight to guys, that's like... Well, that's like missing a crucial, ambitious step. The long-term planning to afford the alimony suit. Yeah, that one. Well, I don't really want to settle down with a guy. I just want money. I mean, <laughs> and a guy occasionally, but I don't want to settle down with him. Uh, I know what you mean. You know, of course I'm you do. Critique myself. Really? I tried to take up sewing. I made my own outfit, but maybe I could come by. Well, that would be great. We should make a date out of it. If you've got a few bits, I could really spruce up your outfit with some gaudy rhinestones. Is the show done? Oh, yeah. Kind of. Except, speaking of bits, I'm sorry I called you guys idiots. So, can you put money in my hat and help crowdfund my project? Otherwise, no, I don't have any bits. Oh. Well, I sure hope someone gives you some money, so you can afford my brilliant tailoring skills. Twilight, give her some money. You give her your money. It's to pay for my tailoring. It's for a good cause. I'm not gonna pay your dumbass. <laughs> and you're paying for her performance. It's like a charity. So what do I get for this? Do you like Poet? Do you like Poet? No. I'll hook you up no. with Poet. He's, he's not my type. He's a pretty boy. Well, he's the sensitive type. Maybe he'd be up for certain things. You could try pegging. I don't care what he's into. If I tell you he's not my type, he's not my type. Dr. Forget, Horse, then. Forget the dating thing. But it's Dr. Horse. Come he's on. Dr. Horse. So? Put money in the hat, please. Fine. I've got a bit. Hey! That's my bit! You filthy four-legged thieves! That one guy in the back with a cigar. What the hell? Four-legged thieves? I did not realize how racist Ponyville was towards ponies. You wow. wouldn't expect that from the name. Would you stop doing that? You can't put yourself in front of a crowd intentionally and talk to it like it's a hive mind. I tell you what, I tell you what. I will pretend to be mollified to avoid conflict with you racist guys, but later I'm going to go on my blog and I'm going to tell everyone that Ponyville sucks. How is that a bargain? You know, actually, I don't Spot. care. I bet your blog sucks. I bet nobody follows Well, you. maybe y'all should just go before this blows up. Okay, AJ, I'm going to go, but just, you know, before... Fine. You know, if you, the rest of you enjoy whatever this is. Unless you... I'm going. Because I want to, not because you told me. <laughs> what I learned today is it's not the friends you make, but the friends you keep. Nope, you already did that one. Okay, then you suggest something. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned there's nothing wrong with a bicycle. Eat a dick. Blows off tension. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did we ever figure out what this key goes to? Now, you... I don't know what that key belongs to. Well, I'll just put it somewhere safe. I'm tired of seeing it laying around. Hey, the fuck? Okay. You look at your friends differently after a bisexual eat fling. A dick. <laughs> you wanna read eat it? A dick, I said. <laughs> okay, that was kind of good. <laughs> that was a funny little banner there. What was the point of that key, though? <laughs> that just came out of nowhere.
Okay. So I definitely enjoyed that one a lot better than the than negative three. But though mainly it was just that little banter at the end with Twilight and Spike. That, that kind of just made that episode. I mean, overall, that that particular episode was pretty good, but it was mainly just because Rarity being Rarity in this series. Oh, goodness. Uh, hopefully these at least pick up, though. Um, <clears throat> it's feeling like it's having the same issue as the original Millie Van series that I just got done watching where the first few episodes were kind of uh, slow and just kind of bland in general but then eventually they got they started to pick up and got really funny so I'm kind of hoping the same thing happens with this one um, I think it's really just the episodes that he's you know working with so since they're you know season one episodes like, they were good, but they, you know, they definitely, the show definitely got better as the seasons went. So, we were kind of working on dry material, you know, stuff. Everyone's seen, like, a thousand times already, so. You know, it's just kind of, gotta see how he decides to progress, decide to progress with this. So, that was uh, Millie Vance. Uh, episodes negative three and four. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy.